Hello, let's take the road to rehab once again and discuss a vital organ of our body, the brain. It is a common misconception that we utilize only 10% of our brain's full potential. If that was so, what was the point of millions of years of evolution bringing our brain to the current size? We are capable of utilizing our entire brain's potential. Depending on what activities we perform, some areas of the brain become more active than the others. We can compare our brain's function to the eight limbs of an octopus in terms of the percentage of function. One limb works on movement, second on coordinating the movements, third working on behavior, fourth on the thought process, as vitals form such a necessary part of our existence. Two limbs dedicated to that and the final two connecting the remaining six. Our brain happens to have a plastic that functions all the time for our growth, developing connections in the nerve cells and gaining experiences from our surroundings. The properties of this plastic keep changing depending on the information that enters the brain. This information can be usual, like the sensations we experience or the development that occurs throughout our lifespan. While the unusual changes occur by any damage to the brain or if the function of the brain gets affected by a disease. Also, the factors that can change the structure of the plastic can be age, gender, our overall personality. Based on these, different connections of the brain get rewired and reorganization happens all the time. That is why early rehab is emphasized, as the functions of the damaged area of the brain can be taken over by the undamaged parts. We need to set a target and aim for the center, which is maximum recovery, rather than aiming anywhere in which case we will have to live with that problem or impairment forever. We can compare the recovery process to an elastic band. Initially, the elastic returns to its original shape when stretched, but as time elapses and we keep stretching it further, the property changes, limiting the potential of the elastic band to return to its original position. It becomes deformed and eventually reaches a critical point where there will always be a snap. And this snap signifies our affected social emotional level, the new learning and experiences which become limited over time, the ability to recover reduces considerably and our overall personality also changes. So early rehab and regular practice become the mainstay of rehab. Practice is not just taking a few sessions, but let's compare it to crossing a bridge every day. The first time it's all new learning, but in subsequent trips, the process becomes easier for us and we are able to adapt. That's what happens in neuroplasticity. And that is why the takeaway message is early rehab should always be emphasized. If you like the video, leave a like, share the video, subscribe to the channel, click the bell icon for notifications and leave a comment about your views on this video or any other video suggestions. So we will meet again. Bye.